I don't know about you guys, but I love dumb, silly applications, and this fits the bill perfectly, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way at all. I stumbled across this post here on Reddit for Surface Duo. Now, this user here, the Unlawful, which is a pretty great Reddit username, must have been a member for a long time. They posted this app here that they said they initially made for the Galaxy Fold, but now they've ported it over to the Surface Duo. And what this app does is it makes it so when you open or close your Duo, you can actually set a custom sound that will play upon opening or closing your Duo. So what I'm going to do quickly here is I'm going to show you the link to it, which is in the description down below the like button. I'm going to show you how to download it, how to install it, and how to actually get it running because you do have to run a an ADB command, but it's all very simple to use if you have a USB-C cable that you can plug into your computer. So first off, when you go here to this uh, to this link, you can either download it through F-Droid, but I think it's fine to just download it straight from GitHub. So go ahead and select that. And if you're doing this on your phone, great, all the better. You're gonna click down here where it says app release.apk. Go ahead and download that and then install it. If you've never installed an outside APK before, it may pop up and ask you to give your web browser permission to install this APK. Go ahead and give it permission. Go back, it should install. Now, once it's installed and you open it, you're going to see a screen with a pop-up that says a command that you need to send it. This is where things get a little bit complicated, but don't worry. It's actually not that complicated at all. All right, so you've got the app downloaded, you've got it installed. Now we're gonna go to the overhead camera because what you have to do next here is you need to actually install, or rather you need to enable, sorry, I can't speak this morning, you need, you need to enable developer mode. So if you've not done this already, super simple. If you have done it, skip ahead. So for those that don't have developer mode enabled, you're going to simply go into your settings. You're gonna scroll down till you see about. You're gonna look for uh, build number down here at the bottom, very last thing you're gonna see, and you're just gonna click that a bunch of times until eventually it says you are a developer. Once you've done that, you can go back and then you can go into system, then you can go into developer options right there. Make sure that when you scroll down that USB debugging is enabled, simple as that, all right? No big deal at all, very easy. So now, once you've got debugging enabled, you're going to want to plug your Surface Duo into your computer, right? So you need a USB-A to USB-C cable, or maybe it's C to C, maybe you're one of those fancy people has a C port on your computer. At any rate, plug your Surface Duo into your computer. Now, we're going to go to a website called webadb.com. It's a fantastic website. Go there, click on start. This is on your computer, mind you. Up here where it says available devices, if you click on add device, you should see your Surface Duo there. Go ahead and click it and then click connect. At that point, you're going to get a pop-up on your Duo that asks you to allow that to happen. Go ahead and allow that, you're good. Then click on interactive shell and then you're gonna paste in the command that I've got in the description as well. Just right click, click paste, and hit enter. And you're pretty much done at that point. So from there, back on your Surface Duo, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna actually close out of Scrunch is the name of the app, launch it again, and now you can tick that box to enable and you can set your power down or power up sounds. Now I'm not gonna tell you what sounds to download yourself. You're gonna have to pick those for yourself. You may have actually just heard mine play there whenever I closed it, but you can find online Google sound effects, MP3s, whatever, and you can set those to whatever you want. Now, and right now, so I'm gonna show you what mine are, what it sounds like, and the reason I'm gonna, it's gonna look a little bit different is because my microphone has a noise gate and it's too quiet to be picked up by, so we're gonna actually film this very quickly uh, with another device, that way you can hear it. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. And let's close it. Hopefully that is audible. So guys, there you go. Fun little app to make your Surface Duo sound different or unique, whatever you want to do with it. Thanks to that Reddit user who I will show again here, the unlawful. Definitely if you're on Reddit, go give that post an upvote or a comment. Tell them that you loved it. Now I did test this on Surface Duo and for me on Surface Duo 2 rather I should say, it is crashing. So if you wanna try it on your Duo 2, give it a shot. Let me know if it works for you, isn't working for me. And if it isn't working for you as well, maybe drop a comment on that thread as well so that the, so that the developer might be able to fix it with a new version. Guys, thanks for watching this silly little video today. Stay tuned for the next one like this and until next time, 
Stay nerdy, my friends.